ain't nobody here. Later, dude. first the castle that's all I know <sighs> guess I'm not the drunk ship message me. This piece of shit doesn't even notify me. Uh, that sounds like a headache waiting to happen. Now he's a general manager. <laughs> I think I gotta go to Rato. Yep. Why is this thing fucking up constantly? It's not even giving me an option to look at shit or to fast travel. Why can't I? Dude! Seriously, man, that's a long ass ways. Oh, now I can, sure. Yes. This is Wayfarer fucked up. I ain't getting robbed again. Damn, all without internet. That's heavily unusual. But yeah, I hate the combat in this game, so hopefully it's just because I need to train. Sorry about that. Hmm. Might as well go see him. Pretty rad to... Might as well. Could that be the smith's son, Hal? On my soul. It is him. What are you doing here, lad? We thought you were done for. I must speak with Sir Radzik. Is he here? He's in the palace with Sir Hanush of Ratai. They're feasting in the Knights Hall. What do you want with him? My father made him a sword. He, um, he asked me to deliver it to Sir Radzi. I don't see any sword. No. Bandits attacked me and stole it. I need to tell his lordship what happened. And then I'm going to find the sword. Of course you are, Hal. Good luck. Thanks. Your graces, 
I have to tell you in all seriousness that this land of ours is in the shit. Deep fucking shit. Don't you agree? I might not have put it as eloquently as you, Hanush, but I've been driven out of my own castle, so I'm hardly going to disagree. Indeed. But Pirkstein is yours for as long as you need it. There's room enough for your men and you here at Ratte, and I'm sure my ward won't have any objection to me lending you his castle. I'd be honored. Pirkstein is at your disposal as long as you wish, Your Grace. Just as well you have another castle at the other end of town, eh? <laughs> ah, at any rate, I'm beholden to you, Sir Hans, and to you, Sir Hanosh. Mm. I don't like to speak ill of your people, Sir Radzik, but, well, there's no love lost between the townsfolk and the refugees. There's been talk of criminality. No, they'll have to get used to it until the situation's resolved. But when will it be resolved? And what on God's earth is this war even about? I won't lie, sir. I don't understand it. You aren't alone, Father. I believe Sigismund's original intention was to persuade Wenceslas to accept the imperial crown and to leave the rule of Bohemia to him. Well, who could blame him? I know Wenceslas is a friend of yours, Radzig, but even you have to admit he brought it upon himself. I can't deny the king neglected affairs of state for other pursuits. There is a need for order in the land, but I don't think the lords who sided with Sigismund realized just what Hungarian order looks like. <laughs> Hungarian order. <laughs> What concerns me, sir, is how a good Christian could resort to such brutality. Mm. To give him his due, I don't think he expected the lords of this country to stand behind the king. But thanks to him, we're tearing ourselves apart, and now he has to get things under control. But why in God's name does he have to use those barbarians? Money is the root of all evil, young sir. Wars are costly, and this one has dragged on for a year. Sigismund ran out of coin for knights, so he recruited those whore sons that settled in Hungary. The less he pays, the more they make up for it with plunder. That's why he attacked us. He was after our silver. What are you doing? You've no business here. Clear off. Wait, it's Henry. Henry, who disappeared after I clearly ordered him to remain at Taunberg. I'm sorry, sir, but I had to bury my parents. Had to? Do you think you were the only man who lost someone there? But the others, listen to their lord. And it wasn't just your own life you nearly threw away. So Robard and his men risked theirs to save you. I'm sorry, but I had to. No, oh, there you go. When you have to, you have to, Radzik. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Your father was a remarkable man. And your mother, she was remarkable too. They deserved a Christian burial. Did you manage that at least? <sighs> no. I was attacked by thieves. I wouldn't be here now if it wasn't for that girl. Girl? The miller's daughter, Teresa. <laughs> the miller's daughter saved you from the footpads? Oh, there's a tale to tell your children. Uh, I owe her my life. She distracted them and then brought me to Ratai. But without a robard, we'd both be dead. Oh, that's what I call a good woman. Hang on to that one, lad. Right. Still. It's a great shame your parents are buried in unconsecrated ground. That means purgatory for them. Be quiet, friar. I didn't invite you here to eat me out of house and home and deliver a sermon while you were doing it. If you're so concerned, Father, maybe you should save the innocent souls of these fine Christians yourself. Go to Scalitz and consecrate their graves. I assure you, if you're killed by bandits, your soul will soar straight to heaven, as long as someone buries you in consecrated ground first. If there's anything left to bury, that plump carcass of yours would be quite a feast for the wolves and the crows. Elephant looks much like another, so how would we know which were your ordained bones or those of Sigismund's Tartars? Be that as it may, why have you come here? I must get your sword back. Sword? My sword hangs here at my side. No, the sword my father forged for you. One of those thieves stole it from me. They almost killed him, and he already wants to go back. Takes after his father, I suppose. Lad, I've lost a castle, a village, silver mines, and a good half of my subjects. Why would I miss one sword? Because it's the last one my father forged, and I promised him I'd deliver it to you. I understand. 
I'd feel the same way. But prudence is the better part of valor, and a dead man keeps no promises. Aye. The woman had to save his fat from the fire, and now he wants revenge. What kind of fool are you, boy? He's no fool. Henry, you have courage, but you need training, arms, a horse. What do you mean to beat this thief at dice? No, sir. Please, take me into your service and give me the chance to learn these things. Right. All of him. Fled from the enemy, disobeyed your orders, duped Sir Divish, lost your sword, put Sir Robard in danger with his actions, and now he wants a promotion. Sir Capon's right. What you say is certainly true, except for fleeing the enemy. You would have run as well, believe me. Henry's earned some punishment, but how do you punish someone who's already lost everything, hmm? Courage and blind obedience are good qualities for a soldier. But a wise man also appreciates loyalty, perseverance, and determination. Besides, that was a fine sword that his father made. If he thinks he can get it back, I won't turn it down. My lord, he's a peasant. You can't make a squire of a peasant. Why not? Someone made a priest of a pig. He isn't a peasant, father. He's a blacksmith. And recent events have left me in need of his skills. So... You'd like to enter my service? Yes. So I... Yes, I would. You won't regret it. <laughs> I probably will. I'm doing this for your father, lad. Don't disappoint me. Oh, fortune has finally smiled on you today, lad. Make the most of it. Now that I think about it, Sir Hanush, the boy needs training and experience, and you need spear carriers. That's true. Bailiff is always complaining about your people making trouble in the camp. Maybe one of their own among the guard might help. It might. In any event, it will prove valuable experience. <laughs> but let's be clear. You're the one paying him. <laughs> <laughs> Captain Bernard, see to his training, and then send him to the bailiff. Yes, sir. And well, don't camp. spare him. You can rely on it, sir. Don't forget, Henry. Don't disappoint me. I won't, my lord. Good. So that's all I needed to do was talk to Sir Radzig. Now I know Captain Bernard is. That's who I need to talk to for training. Only bandits creep around in the dark without a light. Where's your torch? I sold it, I guess. Yep. Did Yakim get that job done for you then? So I'll get that wine. Oh, I'm already here. Looks like I'm gonna be waiting. Don't know why I just randomly decided to start saving as I'm waiting. It's kind of bullshit. Do you seriously think you can creep around here in the dark right under my nose? That's against the law. What? You should have thought twice about what you were doing. What? That will land you a fat fine. Dude, what the fuck? I didn't do shit wrong. I'm just sitting here in the park bench. What the fuck? Uh. 
All right. Here you are. You paid for your crimes. I hope you've learned your lesson. I didn't even do anything wrong except sit here. Don't move a finger. Oh, God. You! Stop right where you are. Fuck off. I didn't do nothing I'll wrong. I ain't dealing with that bullshit. Yes. Not dealing with that bullshit. Had to pay $10 for absolutely nothing at all. Just because I was sitting at a bench. That is fucked up, dude. How are you, Henry? Really? Jesus Christ. Twenty two. Damn. Sleep and save. Why the hell did it go down? I don't know. Jesus. And of course it's red now, so I'll probably get sick. Yeah, of course. Bullshit. Why are you just going that goddamn slow all of a sudden? This game annoys the fuck out of me from time to time. But whatever. So all right, good. Jesus Christ be praised. Can I ask? Thank you. That's all I wanted to know. I'm here for training. Yes, you know that boy Sir Radzik said? Yes, that's me. Let's get to it then, since that's what Sir Radzik wishes. Uh, 
And because you've never held a sword in your hand before, we'll start with something simple. Very well. Come Still with the me flow, and dude. Closely. I don't want to be repeating myself. Take care now. Because he might show me something I'm not sure about. Well, let's see what you made of. Hold it properly. Keep moving. Never stand still when your life depends on it. <laughs> right, good. Now, try attacking. You've got to put your back into a good slash. No use waving the sword around like you're swatting flies. Go into the attack with your whole body. Try slashing from various sides to get used to it. <laughs> Not bad. Uh, that's it. Uh, nice. Uh, well done. Uh, that's it. Uh, that pointy tip isn't for decoration. Try stabbing me with it a few times. Uh, Not bad. Nice. Uh, nice. That will do. Slashing, stabbing, and movement are the foundations that you build everything else on. Now, let's try something more complicated. One strike, I can simply fend off. You mustn't give your opponent time to react. String your strikes together. As soon as you finish one, begin another. Strike, strike, strike. Mm. Well done. I don't have all day, boy. Nice. What's going on? Running out of stamina, ass hat. Very good. Now let's see how you do with defense. It's not hard to block a basic strike. Just watch out and move your sword into the path of the blow. That's what I figured. Wrong! Good! That's enough. Well, my work cut out, it seems. That's life. Let's try something more advanced. When in combat, keep an eye on the space between you and your opponent. That is your space. Try to attack from the side the opponent will find harder to block in time. If I'm holding the sword raised up, do an uppercut. If my sword is low, lunge. Let's try it. You strike a few times at the side where I'm not holding my sword. <laughs> Very good. Good. Not bad. Not bad. Very good. Right. Lesson two. Everything you've learned about blocking is wrong. When I cover, I can simply fend off your blows with my sword and gain control of the space between us. 
It's better not to control just the space, but actually your opponent's weapon. Attack, and I'll show you. All right, that will do. Now you. The trick is to stay in your staff. As soon as I start to attack, you block. The move knocks the blade aside. No, not like that. You mustn't hold a sword there. You have to move along with the attack. Again. Too soon again. Try it a little faster. Concentrate and block just at the moment I start attacking. I'll strike you from above each time so you can see it well. <sighs> Try and catch the rhythm. See the sword move? You move at the same time and deflect it. <sighs> Not like that! <sighs> Hans, what brings you here? I was on my way when I noticed that you're entertaining Saratzik's esteemed guests. Not the same as holding a hammer, is it, blacksmith? It's Saratzik's orders. I know. I'm actually here to train at the archery range. My hand's grown heavy lately. You don't mind, do you, Bernard? Not at all, my lord. Good day to you, blacksmith boy. Try not to hurt yourself. Where did we finish? Yeah, leading the opponent where you want him. There's one more way to evade a strike. Simply step aside, attack, and I'll show you. Ah, I'd love to be able to do that. All right, try it. It's important not to move too soon. I'll see where you're going and hit you. The same will happen if you move too late. I'll attack slowly now. As you see me, raise the weapon, jump us up. You'll throw the opponent off a bit, and there's your chance. Ah, uh, that's it! Ow. Not oh. like that! Well done! Well done. Fine. Now try it a little quicker. Try and get used to the rhythm. Never take your eyes off your opponent. You'll see a strike before it's even properly started. Ah. Good. 
And the last thing for today, a trick. You raise the sword to force your opponent to block, but then change the direction of the attack at the last moment, and the opponent won't even know what hit him. Try it. Draw back the weapon, then change the attack zone and strike, so I don't have time to react. Not like that! Wrong! Again! All right! Not bad! Right, that's it! Well done! Not bad! Well now, that wasn't too bad. Maybe we'll make a soldier of you after all. But don't get cocky. You have to train hard and persistently. You might have talent, but talent alone won't do. Practice. Don't leave yet. Sir Radzik also wanted me to teach you archery. Come with me. All right. Mm-hmm.
Really saved as I watched. Let's see then. Take this bow, go and stand in position over there, and we can start. And another thing, put on this arm guard. Without it, you could flay your forearm with a bowstring, so be sure to wear it. Thank you, Captain. Save the thanks, and get in position. Now concentrate. The bow ain't exactly the weapon of choice of a knight, but it can come in very handy. You've got two bandits coming at you from a distance. Shoot one in the eye, drop your bow, and draw your sword on the other. Emperor Charles, God rest him, encouraged his subjects to learn archery. He even organized contests in Prague. If you would have gotten far there, you're holding the thing like a piece of firewood. But enough talk. There's the target. Try and hit it. Draw the bow, aim, and release. Try to get a feel for the rhythm. Inhale on the draw. Hold your breath for a moment, and then release the string. No jerky movements, just let the string slide out of your fingers, as if you were about to draw it back more. It's all one movement, the arrow aiming at the target and flying at it. Shoot away. What you have there is a training bow. The arrow drops quickly. Once you've trained a bit, you can get yourself a better one, and then those arrows will fly so fast you won't see them. Don't forget the arm guard. Once you've mastered the bow a bit, you won't need it anymore. Well, that was awful. I didn't imagine a village yokel like you would have much skill, but you failed to meet even my low expectations. I never even shot. I don't know why you're wasting your time, Sivanov. Nothing will come of him anyway, and at the first sign of trouble... I never even got to shoot the damn thing. Peasant. After all, he's done it before. What did you say? Calm down, boy. Keep in mind who you're talking to. The braggart who was born with a silver spoon in his mouth. Now you've really done it. You'll go to the stocks for that. Calm yourself, Sir Bernard. If the blacksmith's boy feels he can prove himself, then let him try. Do you think you can beat me? Well? Any time. Very well. If you defeat me, I'll give you my bow. If you lose, you'll have to pay up. Do you even have any coin? I have enough. Good. Then let's get to it. I like how you just forced me to fucking deal with that. That was bullshit. Well, I didn't expect that. 
probably just wasn't your day, sir. I told you I have a heavy hand ever since I fell off that horse during the last hunt. What are you grinning about, boy? I think you owe me a little payback. How about a sword fight at the arena? If you like. Sir Hans, is this necessary? Sir Hanish has already had words about you fighting with your subjects. He explicitly told me. I know what he told you. You can just tell him I didn't listen to you. So what's it going to be, blacksmith? If we must. Excellent. Then let's go. Dude, I'm blocking in the right directions, man. Yeah, I'm blocking. It's not working. I keep running out of goddamn stamina. That's fucking me over bad. It won't let me fucking dodge. Yeah, it won't let me dodge. It will not let me dodge. That's bullshit. Fuck. Oh, we're even then. It looks like I get to keep my bow and you your groschen. I suppose I should give you credit for taking on my challenge, despite your limitations. Thank you, sir. Godspeed, blacksmith. And don't worry, 
This isn't the last time we'll meet. We'll have more fun like this again soon. Don't fret about it, lad. Lord Capon is a good swordsman, and if by some fluke you actually won, well, you might not take it so well. Now go to the rat house. The bailiff's waiting for you there. All right, Captain. Good luck to you. Jesus, people these days walking around town with a weapon. Yeah, this game is frustrating. Mm-hmm. <laughs>
It'll even make your mum dry like a little lass. Come and buy some. How the hell do I get to be up here? God be with you. Master Bailiff? Is there anything of interest going on here? Nothing of interest to me, thank Christ. I want to learn to read. Who should I go and see? There's a retired scribe in Ujits. He could teach you. I'm to put myself under the bailiff's command. Ah, so you're the young man Sir Radzig appointed? Yes. Very well. Sir Radzig asked me to test you a little, and as it happens, you've come at the right time. Good. We have a few disputes to settle. It seems some of your former neighbors have been acting quite inappropriately. I was hoping having one of their own on the town watch might help sort things out. I'm not sure. I'm just a boy from a forge. Not anymore, lad. Now you're a part of Sir Radzig's retinue. That brings responsibilities. Have you been to see Captain Bernard? I have, and I have the bruises to prove it. The captain doesn't hold back. The harder the training, the easier the battle. Well, anyway, you're going to assist my town guard. Come to the church in the afternoon. Yaroslav, the watchman, Nightingale, they call him, will wait for you there. He'll show you around the town and teach you a little about keeping the peace. And you need to stop by the armory to pick up some gear. Yes, Bailiff. Farewell. Good day to you. What do you need? Can you show me how to repair armor and weapons better? Certainly. I'd like to practice the basics. All right, but it'll cost you. Isn't that quite a lot? Agree? You won't convince me with that. Agreed. Now listen up.
Can we do something about the price? Aye. Is this enough? Well now, a little more and we'll shake on it. Aye, for that amount I can be persuaded. Jesus Christ be praised. Jesus Christ be praised. Did you find out what actually happened? They say Sigismund is at war with the Czech lords and abducted the king. And our lord sides with Wenceslas. Trouble at home. You overheard us, did you? She's a good woman. Normally we don't quarrel, but things have been hard on us these days. And is there some way I could help you? I'm credibility itself. I'm sorry, Henry, but my wife would kill me if I told everyone who passed by. May the Lord watch over you. They all have words, I guess. Heavens, lad. You're looking bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. Last time I saw you, I thought you were ready for the priest. To be honest, I'm still not really feeling myself. Oh, get on with you. You have a good, strong frame that can take a beating, so be a man. About that debt. Here you are. Thank you. I'm glad to see you're a man of honor. Is there anything else I can do for you?
Is this man? Good day to you. My respects to you. Lady Stephanie of Talmberg sent me to... And what would she like? Fine clothes from Venice? Exquisite spices from Arabia? Jewels from Germany? Wine. Good wine. Ah. Ah. Would beer be enough? As a gift for a noble woman's wedding? No, it definitely wouldn't. Then that's going to be a problem. I gave the last keg of good wine away as a prize for the archery competition tomorrow. Shit. Isn't there anywhere else where I could find the wine? Unfortunately not. I have the exclusive right to sell and buy that particular vintage. No one else in the region will stock it. Can I enroll in the competition? But of course. Go to the shooting range above Ratai. 
But what if I don't win the competition? Then you'll have to persuade the winner to part with some truly excellent wine. Uh, I suppose I'll just have to find a way to get it. I'm sorry, there's nothing more I can do to help. God be with you. What will it be today? Good luck then. I'd like to discuss the price. Match ready. About five four. What do you say to this? I'd almost shake on that. Almost. Are we agreed? It's close. Well, a little more, and we'll call it a deal. That's a sum I can live with. Good. Good day to you. What do you need? How does life in Rat Eye suit you? Them Rattay folk would rather drive us out of here. They won't give us no work, and they won't let us beg. So what are we supposed to do? Fucking war. Mm. Farewell. God be with you. How does life in Rattay suit you? I suppose it was kind of them to take us in. But then they just left us to fend for ourselves. Nobody gives a damn about us. God be with you. Be merciful. What am I to I've do? Every a poor wretch whose home was home. burned to ashes by Sigismund's poor. My livelihood. Be merciful, good people. I'm like third. That's fucked up. Just now, almost all over. Uh, what exactly kind of gear do I have to get? That's another question. Oh, so I have to play guess. That's full too. Thank <laughs> you. 
Beneath thy mercy we take refuge, O blessed Lord. Not even a handle. I suppose so. About the other side, probably the same difference. Even better. Literally. What in the fuck is the point in that room? <sighs> well. Of all places, you're just right here. Here I am. My name is Henry. We're supposed to go on patrol together? You report for duty dressed like that? Well, I've got nothing better to do. You look more frightening with a pitchfork. Go and get kitted out first. Where do I go for that? They'll have something for you at the armory. Didn't the bailiff tell you? The armory's in a bastion of the city walls. The last tower before the upper gate on the right hand side. Needs to be something on the outer.
don't really have anything I can sell. Got blood all over. I'd like to discuss the price. Naturally. Since it's you... I'd almost shake on that. Almost. Are we agreed? That's not enough. That's a sum I can live with. There ain't even nothing I can do with that shit. <laughs> She doesn't have it, so it must be at the town shop. Why did it keep going up? Oh, that's stupid. Good as I see go you're kitted out. Yeah. Ready to get going. I'm Nightingale. Aren't you that lad the mill wench brought here on a cart? Teresa? Yes, she rescued me. She turned up with Captain Robot and his knights. All honor to the girl. She has bigger balls than most men. Tell me, how did you pay her back? Well, I, um... I thanked her. That's not much, is it? You should go and see her when you get a chance. So how did you end up in the service of the bailiff? I wanted to enter the service of Saradzik, but he sent me here to learn. And learn you will. You're lucky, lad. Saradzik must like you. Most lords would have just sent you on your way. Come with me, Henry. We'll patrol the town and then check on the taverns to make sure they lock up in the evening. I'm ready. Don't forget, 
I'm supposed to try you out and, with the help of God, teach you something. So I expect you to deal with any misconduct yourself. My. I'll make sure you don't do anything too stupid. Let's go. It serves not only as the house of God, What do I have set to all? Another. The grave digger lives right round the corner. The priest, too. Our parish priest. Ah, a man I shouldn't speak ill about servants of the Lord. I'm reduced to this. I'm from Scalitz, and... Well, this is our rat house. Pretty big, eh? The bailiff and his hands live there, and our maestro proto-notarius, the scribe. And the jailhouse. You don't want to see the inside, not even as a guard. Naturally, we have an executioner too, but he doesn't live in town. That wouldn't be proper, as I'm sure you know. He lives by Gallows Hill, the other side of the creek. This pillory was brand new in autumn, and two people have already been rotting on it. The swordsmith lives here. Implements, instruments, and tools. Everything for work and home. What the hell is going on here now? Go and check it out, Henry. If you won't go to the church, go back to your people. I don't want you here. Is that veneer pile not big enough for you? What are you two screeching about? Stop making such a ruckus. About time you turned up. This filthy beggar thinks. My name is Jane. No one cares what your name is. This filthy beggar thinks she can come and stink in front of my shop. I want you to get rid of her. Can't you show her some Christian charity, Armour? What? Have you any idea how much I've given away in alms? Even to this witch only yesterday. Is that true? Might be. Might not. Did you get any arms or not? Yes. From the armorer here? I don't know. And even if I did, that was yesterday. And my belly's empty again today. Well, that's true. What would you know about it? Here, Jane. Take this and be on your way. Yes. Yes, thank you. I'll go right away. Right away. God bless you, Henry. And what happens if she comes again tomorrow? You give her more? You're making a mistake. Give them coin once and you'll never see the back of them. If you say so. Your old neighbors are living here now. It's a bit of a shithole. Even so, you should be thankful to Zahanush. If the town burghers got their way, your folk wouldn't be led anywhere near the town. And now our people aren't too happy with him. Some fools are even calling for Zahanush to finally hand the fiefdom over to the young lord, Zahans Capon. 
So Hans's father, old Sayeshke, may God rest his soul, kept it till he was an old man. Then he retired from it, first to Moravia, then to eternity. Sir Hanush is managing the fiefdom until Sir Hans comes of age. They're related by blood somehow, the same great-great-grandfather or some such. The time's coming soon enough when the estates have to be handed over. These affairs often end in conflict. I hope we have nothing like that here. Time to lose, and all we're doing is just fucking walking. All right. This square here, it looks much better during the markets. Then it's filled to bursting with folk from all around. We've also got the baker's shop here, and that mad merchant Wolfram Prude. Prude has a pretty daughter, but he keeps her on a short reign, which the young bucks are none too happy about. I heard he even keeps the poor lass locked up at home all day. Look here. See that filthy beggar? By Christ, I'll show the bastard. Comfortable, are we? Arms, please, sir. Who do you take me for? Are you stupid or just insolent? Well, what's the matter? Stupid, then. There's no begging allowed here, so pick up your stinking arse and haul it somewhere else. Who am I bothering here? Me. Us. Everyone. If Sir Hanu saw you here, he'd take a whip to you. All right, all right, I'm going. Damn beggars. You offer them a helping hand, and they want the whole arm. It's not like the rules aren't clear. Beggars belong at the church. There's one alehouse here on the market square, the trader's tavern. The other's up by the gate. We'll be going there later. Let's move along to the inner bailey. Here's the forge. The blacksmith has some trouble. He's not working at the moment, but his apprentice is standing in for him tolerably. I hear you're a blacksmith's apprentice too. You lot could help if needed, couldn't you? Us? What do you mean? You and your master, or your father, whoever taught you. Hey. What is it, lad? My father was the master blacksmith. He was killed in Scalitz. Ah, I'm sorry. I didn't know. Thank you. So am I. My papa died not long ago. Of course, it was old age got him. That's not the same, but I know a little how you feel. Huh? Master Smill is in charge of Sir Hanush's stables. He's by far his best vassal. It's all a bit complicated for a newcomer, I suppose. 
This lord here, that lord there, this exemption here, that right there. Exemptions from exemptions, rights to half of something, so on. It'd take you a year to make head or tail of it. This tower was only half the size when I was a young lad. Sir Hanush had it extended and made into an armory. Be with you, Benish. How goes it? Well enough, Nightingale. It's quiet today. Good. Where's Moimir, anyway? Isn't he supposed to be here with you? Ah, yes. He hasn't turned up yet. Oh, I see. Now, where might he have got to, then? I don't know. You don't know, eh? Let me tell you something. When the bailiff finds out Moimir's slacking off, he'll be in serious shit. And being a friend of his, you wouldn't want that, would you? No. So it's better if I deal with it and we leave the bailiff out of it, right? Um, yes, I suppose so. So where is he? Uh, in the tavern. He was thirsty, so he... Went for an ale. We know how that goes. Come on, Henry. Let's go and find that idler, and you'd better talk some sense into him. Uh. What the fuck are you doing here when you're supposed to be on the gate? <laughs> Move your carcass and don't guard the gate. What the uh, fuck are you doing here? <laughs> Get moving. You're lucky it was me found out, not the bailiff. Or God forbid, Captain Bernard. Out! Come and sit with me, Henry. Let's have a drink. Fool got me all worked up. Me as well, the lazy bastard. My words exactly, and just when we need every pair of eyes. You never know when the Cumans might creep up on us. But that's enough about that. Let's not let it spoil our day. Listen, since we're sitting here anyway, how about a little game? Sounds good. Why not? St. George, guide my hand. Ones, fives, and triples. That's it. Hmm. Your turn. Both ones? No. This was probably bound to happen. More than likely. Mm. Hopefully it fucks up though. That'd be nice. Nope. 
He won automatically. I was lucky, but that's what it is. Friendly game of dice. Nothing like it. Just one more thing and we're done for the night. Ringing the end of the day and closing the taverns. Isn't it still a bit early? I don't know how it was in Scarlet's, but here in Rate we close up at this hour. Except, of course, during fairs and big festivals. Then we don't close at all. I see. Should I go and ring the bell? If you wouldn't mind. The bell is hanging outside the rat house. Ring three times, then go to the trader's tavern by the market square and make sure the innkeeper closes up. I'll do that. Before I forget, it's forbidden to walk in Rate at night without a torch. Here, take this one. you survived. Aren't you observant? You still owe me. Don't think I've forgotten. I don't owe you. I owe your father, and he's dead. So get out of here. Do you really want to make me angry? Do you really think that's wise? No, I don't. Fine. I owe you. And what am I supposed to do about it? You think you'll get anything from me? Look at what I've got! But maybe I could... Maybe I could tell you where you can find some money. If you forgive my debt, that is. All right, then. Start talking. No. First, I want you to swear you won't be demanding anything else from me. Very well, then. Talk. When we were running from Scalettes, I heard something. I don't know who said it. It's a miracle I could even hear it in that chaos. Either way, somebody hid a lot of coin under a dove cut. Under a dove cut? And that's it? That's all I know. How many dove cuts could there be in Scalettes? If you've got the guts to go back there, you're bound to find it. Fine. We'll see. Certainly. I'm not a heathen. After all, like truly great. Ah, oh, that's some bullshit. Pick up your kit. I was told to pick up a kit here. I'd say there's not much room for improvement. You already look as good as any vassal, but your wish is my command. If my memory serves me, you're entitled to a helmet, a gambeson, and a club. That's all. You want a kiss and a hug as well? I mean it quick. <laughs> it's quite enough for patrolling the town. You're there to stop trouble, not start it. Where do I go ring the bell? Oh, okay. <laughs> I 
at the souls for sure. Whenever the place is open back up tomorrow. And the canon of St. Wenceslas in Olomouc was so drunk, <laughs> he dragged the pig to the market square, saddled it up, and <laughs> rode it out of the town gate. <laughs> now, now, now we, can, we, can see, we can see that this wasn't going to end well. So, Sir Peter and I rode off to look for the good canon on his pig. <laughs> they <laughs> to find him. <laughs> we tracked the filthy beast down to a sty beyond Cronau. I mean, the beast with a tonsier on its head. <laughs> <laughs> we never found the real pig, but the reverend was sound asleep in the pigsty. <laughs> Birds of a feather stick together. It seems the same goes for pigs and planets. <laughs> I toast, gentlemen, to pigs and planets. God <laughs> save them, bacon. <laughs> Sir Hans, forgive my intrusion, but I need... Oh, but what? You uh, want to join us? Want to... Buyers around. <laughs> I'm afraid we don't drink with peasants. You're not in your village now, boy. No, sir. <laughs> Curfew's been rung. The alehouse is closing. <laughs> Nothing <laughs> closes while I'm sitting here. If that's all, you're dismissed. Are you out of your mind, lad? You can't cross his lordship. He's got a temper like a bear with gut egg. If I was you, I'd get lost before he shows it. The bailiff instructed me to close the tavern at the proper hour. He doesn't want anyone disturbing the peace after curfew. The bailiff? The bailiff can kiss my ass. I trust you haven't forgotten who's the rightful lord of Ratte. No, it's Sir Hannes. Oh, is he here? Or is he hiding under the table, maybe? <laughs> no, then what he wants isn't worth a fart in a bathhouse. And besides, he's only in charge till I grow up. <laughs> Which clearly hasn't happened yet. Enough! You mm. can't talk to me like that. I'm a nobleman. Come now, sirs. You're not going to fight here, are you? We most definitely are. This yokel needs to be taught his place. Here we fucking go. No more fooling around. Yeah. <clears throat> 
insulted me. I had to teach him a lesson. By rolling around in the mud like a hog? That's a fine example of noble conduct. Sir Hannes, the bailiff ordered me Silence! to... Silence! You shut your mouth and thank your lucky stars that you are Radzig's ward. Have you gone out of your mind? Raising your hand to a nobleman? And you, Hans, how many times have I told you that drinking with your subjects might be good for their morale, but it's bad for your honor? You spend all your days drinking and chasing wenches, which wouldn't matter if you paid any attention at all to your duties. And now we see what that leads to. Tomorrow, you will go with me to a hearing. Some landowners will ask me to settle a dispute. It will be an excellent lesson for you. I had planned to go hunting, but if you think listening to the pointless gripes of a bunch of old fools will benefit me, so be it. Ooh, hunting? Well then, Your Grace, I'll tell you what, you can go hunting. Really? Naturally. Who am I to deprive the young Lord Capon of his sport? And you can take Henry here as your page. Him? Absolutely not. You'll do as I've commanded. It's time you learned how to lead people, and not just in drinking and brawling. Now get out of my sight. Sir, I have responsibilities of the bailiff. Not I anymore. Can't. Your responsibilities now are the Lord Capon. It's time you learned how to behave in the presence of nobility. Let's go. Tell the kitchen I'm hungry. It's been a long journey. You didn't go that far, but okay. 